Hey hippies, welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante back again with another banging tutorial. Today we have these adorable heart shaped roach clip holders or card pulls. Before we do get started, make sure you do hit that follow button. I'm sorry, hit that subscribe button for me. And also turn on your notifications so that way you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys moving forward. So of course, you know, I went ahead and prepared my resin off screen. I do that off screen because it's so boring mixing on camera. Um, from there, I just go ahead and add just a few dots of resin onto the bottom of that mold. And then first, I'm sticking down my foil and I'm putting that face down and just making sure it's pressed firmly in there and where I want it nice and flush. And then from there, I'm going to be adding this adorable little dragonfly here, putting that on in making sure that's covered in resin as well and then I am also going to be adding in this adorable little flower that I have here to the side this pink flower after putting a little bit more resin one second here all right so now I'm getting the flower and I'm putting that on top all right I'm just pressing that down and everything making sure it's to the front nice and flush and then what you see me doing now is I'm just going to take some of that clear resin and mix it into this iridescent um, confetti that I have here. These iridescent flakes. I'm just making sure that it's nice and thick and that the iridescent really shows. I'm going to be adding um, a very thin layer of this on there. So you just want to spoon that on top and make sure you aim for the negative space. So that's where most of the confetti falls. And that way it creates this adorable little shimmer look. Don't forget to get down towards the, um, like that little stick part. I really don't know what to call that, but that little narrow opening at the bottom of the heart shaped mold. Um, you can usually find it on lollipop molds. Um, this particular, um, company, um, chose not to work with me, so I will not actually be tagging them. But if you go on Amazon, you can find plenty of lollipop molds and stuff on there. Just make sure it goes down into the stick part so that way, you know, um, it covers there as well. And then you're just going to take these little alligator clips that I have with the stick attached on there, and you're going to slide them all the way up and just make sure that it's sitting on top of that layer of resin so it's not poking through straight to the front and then we're just going to allow that to cure after we spray it with some alcohol all right so after letting that sit for a bit I just mixed up a little bit more resin and everything and from here I am just going to be adding in some white mica powder and I'm adding in a bit of resin as well because we're going to be doing like a white pearlescent finish for the back so just get that stirred up really really well um, you want to make sure there aren't any chunks inside that mica powder and then you're going to add in a little bit of white opaque alcohol ink and then you're going to get that mixed up really well be careful because that alcohol ink will float to the top and then from there you're just going to go ahead and do another layer onto that mold making sure you're filling it to the top because this will be our last and final layer be careful though because you don't want it seeping out of the holes so do what you can to make sure that it's not um just make sure that's on a level surface and then you're gonna let that cure after that's finished curing you're just going to go ahead and wiggle this from the mold get these released pull slowly make sure that you don't rip the mold and they come out very very nicely and the alligator clip is encased within and it's just perfect um it's also a really great way to make sure that these don't break because that long stick attached to the alligator clip will help make the resin really firm in that narrow narrow space so I want to make sure I color those etchings on the one that does have the etching. So I'm just pouring a little bit of gold acrylic paint paint, and I am brushing over it using a paint brush and just making sure it's nice and even and then I'm pushing the paint into the etchings and making sure that it's filled nicely and it looks just lovely and adorable. all right so once that is dry what you're going to do is you're just going to damp a rag right quick you don't need a lot of water on it 
and then I'm just spraying a little bit of the alcohol onto the rag as well and from here you're just going to wipe really really well and remove all that acrylic paint and it comes off very smooth using the damp rag and the alcohol combo yeah you can see how that looks on there now keep in mind that if you guys are interested in foils and things like that i do have them available in my etsy shop just click the link to my etsy it's on my um, channel page and it's also linked down in the caption below so be sure to check that out so that way you know you can have some beautiful foils to put inside your resin creations as well so I'm going to, you know, just make sure that I do get all that paint off. And then once I do, I'm going to grab my key rings and my jump rings. Open up those jump rings using some pliers. And then you're just going to attach on your little resin keychain piece and then add on the key ring. Use your pliers to go ahead and close those jump rings. And then you will be good to go. And now you have this adorable little roach clip keychain. Now you're going to be following the same steps with the other one as well. Make sure those jump rings are in there nicely and they don't have any spaces where they meet. So that way you can make sure that your little resin creation does not fall off of the key ring. So make sure that it's flush and nice and tight on there. Uh oh. This part is a little bit slippery but you know like I said I've said over a million times by now. If you're not wearing nails, it's a whole lot easier than I am making it look. And I'm also on camera, so that's not helping either. But this is how our babies have turned out. They're absolutely beautiful. I love how this iridescent foil like conflates. They just look so beautiful in the background. And that's how that gold hollow foil looks that I do have available in my shop. I have multiple different patterns available as well. And these keychains will also be available on my Shopify store tonight. So just go ahead and go to CourtneyShavante.com and shop until your little heart is content. And also use my code YouTube so that way you can save some coins on your purchase. And that YouTube um, code also works on my Etsy shop as well so you can save there too. So make sure you definitely check me out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. Feedback is a gift and I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And until next time hippies, bye now.